Okay, great. We're going to get started, everyone. Good morning. Thank you for joining us for part one of our mini webinar series. Today, we are going to talk about and demonstrate how to protect remote workers' data now that working from home is the new norm. On the call today, you have myself, Hannah Coney, Cloud Solutions Advisor from Comport Secure, and the awesome Sean Simpson, Cloud Systems Engineer from Beam Software. Thanks, Sean, for hopping on today and speaking to everyone. Sure, it's my pleasure, Hannah. Door workstations um, to a secure data center or to local target. We will review how Veeam and Comport Secure have made it easy to recover that data, show you the reasons why Office 365 applications need to be backed up, and demonstrate what it looks like to delete and recover emails. During the webinar, please feel free. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the Q&A or the chat box in the GoToWebinar panel. And you also may notice that we have a handout that's being distributed during the webinar. So please keep an eye out from that, um, open it, save it to your laptop. It's for you to keep and reference after the call and share with your team as well. Real quick, before we jump into the problems we are solving, I wanna quickly review Comport Secure Services to give you a better idea of how we can help you in your cloud and your hybrid cloud roadmap. I know there's a lot of familiar faces on today, but there's also um, quite a few that I don't know. So thank you everyone for hopping on. Hopefully this is helpful and we'll give you a little bit more background here about who we are. Comport Secure specializes in backup, disaster recovery, and infrastructure as a service. This also includes co-location and public cloud infrastructure. Not only do we protect the data, but we also help our customers manage that data. Whether your on-premise or hybrid environment needs a little helping hand, or you're looking to remove some of the day-to-day -day troubleshooting and monitoring from your IT staff's plate so they can focus on higher priority projects that help grow the organization, our team is here to help with that. So now the not so secret problem, why we're all here today. First part, remote workers' data is at risk. Stolen, damaged, or corrupted data due to lack of home network security is a major problem. Those cyber attacks are happening daily. We hear about them on the news and they are putting employees and the company's data at risk. Second problem, just because Office 365 applications are hosted by Microsoft does not make them 100% safe or ensure that the data will always be there when you go to restore or when you go to pull data for legal reasons, many different reasons in which you may need to go and retrieve that data. And you might be surprised to find that it's not there if you're not backing that up. So now, Sean, I know that you're gonna tell everyone how we can help and you're also gonna show them a cool um, demo for a couple um, of the features of Veeam as well. So I'll let you take it from here. Thanks, Anna, I appreciate that. Um, Again, it's very important and we, when we think about re remote workers, we think about uh, the data that they have at home. And uh, personally, uh, being able to back up my own laptop uh, has proven uh, to come to tuition a couple of times, even within my own environment, um, having to restore uh, and go back to a specific point in time. Um, the first time this happened to me, unfortunately, I didn't even have my uh, laptop backed up. Uh, so I had to do um, um, a Windows type of backup. Uh, immediately after that, I downloaded the Veeam agent uh, to backup Windows or laptops. So even in your personal life, it's very important that you take a backup, uh, whether it be work, whether it be personal. And I always relate this back to, to be perfectly honest with you, I really relate it back to your phone. Uh, many people use iPhones. Um, we do a backup of our phone. Um, we make sure that we have our contacts. We make sure that we have our pictures, that sort of thing. So we also want to do that uh, with our laptops, especially in business. Um, how do we make backing up your laptop easy? Um, it's as simple as downloading an agent. Now, this agent can be downloaded directly to the laptop. It can also be deployed uh, from whether it's a Veeam backup and replication or if you use the service provider console, um, take note the service provider console has been rebranded. It used to be um, the uh, v uh, Veeam um, Cloud Connect console. Now it's the service provider console. So just keep that in mind. But backups on a laptop can be scheduled. It works for your team. Uh, you can point the backup jobs to various destinations, including Comport Secure. So Comport offers their own cloud. 
and you can point these backups to be stored on their secure cloud and then you can recover if needed. Um, you can do this to avoid uh, you know, on-premise storage charges that Com Comport's going to provide you so you can uh, you know, pay for the data that you store. You can also include or exclude what you want to include in these backups. Do I want to do a full system state? Do I want to do specific files? Do I want to exclude specific files? We can, we can do this very simply um, to recover in minutes like it never happened. We can roll back to a specific point in time. So again, this is a free standalone agent. Again, if you're going to go to Comport Secure, you're obviously going to pay for the storage in their cloud, but that's a small price to pay to have that data off-site. You can easily back up your computer to an external hard drive, network attached storage, Comport Secure, or even public cloud, AWS or Azure. It's portable recovery media, create a recovery image, for your computer on several different kinds of media, including removable storage devices, whether it's a flash drive, an SD card, you could burn a CD or an iOS image, and then data encryption and safe, secure data storage in tier five data center if we're going to use something like Comport Secure. Now, what I'd like to do is I'm going to just open up the agent on my laptop and I'll be able to just really maybe pop this agent up and just show you what it looks like so you can see how easy and simple it is uh, from that standpoint. So I'm going to do that right now if I share my screen with you. If I go in uh, to this area, you'll be able to see. Let's see here. Whoops. Sorry about that. Perfect timing. Now I'm disconnected from my target today because I'm working in a different location due to some powerful storms that came through my area, but you'll see this is the Veeam agent. You can see that each day uh, here, the way this is set up is this would have been a full backup of my laptop. You can see the incremental backups and it is processing right now, but it's not going to complete because my uh, attached storage is not available right now at the moment. If we go up here though, we do have the ability to go in. And if I did need to do a recovery, you can see right here, I can uh, restore a file, restore a volume. I can stop this current job or edit this job. Now with this free version, I do only, I can only set up one job for this particular laptop. Some of the things though to note and some of the enhancements that came with the latest version of the agent for Windows is we do have a, a resume on pause. So if I was working on this laptop and it was in the middle of a backup and I did shut my laptop down, when I do come back and open my laptop up, and wake it up, it's going to continue to do that backup right from where it left off as opposed to starting over. So as you can see, once you download the agent, you set up the job, you do your backup. If you need to recover anything, you can come right in here and we can restore our files or whatever we need to recover from our laptop. Very simple, very easy, and it gives you that peace of mind. Now, Sean, would it also be that easy if they were restoring from the Comport Secure Data Center? Yes. So doesn't matter where your data lives. You have the ability to recover that data, whether it's on site or in the Comport Data Center. You're going to have access. And the best part about that, Hannah, is that it's going to be off site. So you don't have to worry about that drive being attached. In my case today, where I couldn't do the backup. Now, if I was porting it to Comport, my backup would be completed and I wouldn't have to worry. So there's several advantages to that. It's a great point. Thank you, Hannah. So now we're going to get into um, the backup for Office 365 applications that are available from Veeam and working with Comport again uh, to work with them directly and the ability to save a copy of that data offsite. Susan, why don't you go forward a few more slides? There you go. So um, with, um, with Veeam uh, and your backup for Office 365, 
uh, one of the things that you're going to be able to do is back up your exchange, your online, your SharePoint online, and OneDrive for Business data weekly, daily, or as often as every five minutes in the location of your choice, uh, on-premise or in the cloud, whether that be Comport Secure, AWS, S3, Azure, IBM, or any S3 compatible provider. Um, you should never settle uh, for less than re reliable granular restore of your Office 365 email items, SharePoint sites, documents, libraries, and lists, as well as OneDrive for business accounts, files, folders in a few clicks. Um, if we, we go to the next slide, what we really talk about is many IT pros um, within the industry uh, are concerned about ransomware. We're concerned that we're going to be attacked. And as you can see from this particular slide, when we look at what's targeted within a cyber attack, you're going to see that Microsoft Office is targeted more than 70% of the time from that standpoint. Now that's critical when we talk about how are we going to protect ourselves. I'm sure we've all heard that story about the admin within an office who gets an email from her CEO asking her to go out and buy $1,000 worth of gift cards and then put them in the mail and send them to a specific vendor. And then when she calls the CEO to let him know that this has been done, he has no idea what she's talking about. Or well, these are the kind of things that happen every single day within the business. And when we look at these numbers, we can see that it's going to be very important that we take the time to back up our Microsoft Office 365. Now, if we go to the next slide and we take a look at what does Microsoft Office 365 actually protect, we're going to start to scratch our head a little bit and start to realize that they're not responsible for your data. Many IT pros believe that it's Microsoft's responsibility to protect your Office 365 data. Now, that's just not true. If you actually read your documentation from Microsoft Office 365, you're going to notice that it's your responsibility to protect your data. Yes, they may be responsible to keep that hardware up, and they might even have an SLA around the hardware, but the data is your responsibility. While Microsoft provides a wide array of powerful services within 365, a comprehensive backup of your Office 365 data is not one of them. Now, as you can see from this particular screen, if we look at the different areas of Microsoft Office 365, inbox or folder data, deleted items, auto archived items, junk emails. If an employee leaves the company, we're only going to have this data for a month. We've all had situations where maybe we're managing people. Maybe we're uh, working with someone on a transition of an account and we might need an email from the past. If we don't have a backup of that individual's email and we don't need it and we don't look at it within that month, that email is going to be gone. So what Veeam Backup for Office 365 does is it eliminates the risks of losing access and control offer over your Office 365 data. And again, this is going to include Exchange Online, SharePoint, OneDrive for Business, and Microsoft Teams so that your data is always protected. From that standpoint, if we take a contrast and when we take a look at the next slide, we're going to see what does Veeam for Office 365 actually protect. Now, the biggest difference here is you're going to see everything goes to green. And why does that happen? Because you control the data within Veeam backup for Office 365. We give you the ability to determine how long you want to store the data based on long-term retention policies for regulatory or compliance needs. You can also leverage advanced search capabilities and flexible recovery options to perform e-discovery of your Office 365 archives and recover exactly what you need. No more, no less with granular advanced search and find functionality. It, you can avoid the costly and time consuming disruptions of your business. So right here you can see employee leaves the company. A year from now, you need to go back and look at an email if a particular customer might say, well, John said that this contract was going to be good for two years. I have it in an email. And you ask that customer, well, do you have that email? No. You'd have the ability to go in, search for that particular email, find it, 
And then we have several different ways for you to be able to recover that email from that standpoint. So as you can see with the Veeam product, working with Comport, you can determine these thresholds and how long you wanna keep your data. You're not stuck with the standard with that being said. So again, as you can see on the bottom of the slide, Veeam's gonna protect all of your Office 365 needs from that standpoint and allow you to get ultimate control and make your 365 journey very smooth. This is the tool that's gonna to completely support your organization's way to software as a service. Keep in mind, you can also protect hybrid email and SharePoint deployments, or simply migrate mailboxes data between Office 365 and on-prem exchange from that standpoint. And as we move along here, we're gonna be able to see a little bit of how Office 365 works. Now, this is a very basic high level diagram of the Office 365 components. Now, many people within or on this webinar are probably familiar with the Veeam infrastructure, the Veeam infrastructure components. And you're gonna see on the left-hand side of this screen in the first box, you're gonna see the Veeam backup for Office 365. That's gonna be very similar to your BNR server. This is going to be uh, the brains. Uh, it's going to be your interface. It's going to be where the jobs are set up, where you can run queries. Next, you're going to see the Veeam proxy servers. Think of the Veeam proxy servers are the muscle. That's going to be moving the data from point A to point B. Then, of course, you're going to have a repository. We spoke a little bit about repositories earlier. These repositories could be anything from a USB drive to Comport Secure. We spoke a little bit about why you wanna get your data offsite. We also spoke a little bit about the advantages of pointing this backup to the cloud, which you can do now in the latest version of Veeam Backup for Office 365. Pointing my backup directly to Comport Secure would eliminate me having to make sure that my USB drive is plugged into my laptop. If I'm a remote worker and I have my laptop on, it's gonna do that backup. It's gonna push that data to Comport Secure. If I need to recover something and I left my USB at home on my desk and I'm working remotely, if I have my data in the cloud, I'd be able to do that recovery. Now, how do we recover a file? Next to that, you're gonna see there's several options to do that. We can send this as an email attachment. We can export it as a PST file, or we can send it as a message from that standpoint. We also have on the far right, the Veeam Explorer for Exchange. What that allows you to do, it could allow anybody within your organization, if you were to give them access to this Explorer, they could download it and have it right on their desktop, they would be able to log into the Veeam Explorer for Exchange and recover those emails from that standpoint without any other interaction. So it would be very simple, very fast, and very secure with that being said. Now, as we move through the presentation and we're looking towards the next area, you're going to notice that there's over 25 unique ways to restore Exchange, SharePoint, OneDrive for Business, and Microsoft Teams. Some of these may be duplicates in each one of these categories, but you have flexibility and options. We're not just giving you one way to do it. Like we mentioned before, you can return it to the original inbox. You could restore it to another inbox. A lot of cases, a manager may need access or the emails to a former employee. And with this product, we can do that. We could email it as an attachment. We could save the exchange item as an MSG file. We can export the folder. We could share the restore in exchange item. We could also, um, so as you can see, this gives you that flexibility. So you're not just, stuck with one way. And it gives you the ability to pick and choose how you wanna restore that data. So that's how we're going to be able to do that. Now, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go into the product and I'm going to give you a brief demo of how you can recover an email uh, from that standpoint. So we can see right now that I am in an Office for 365 environment. And this is a particular email right here that if I were to delete this email right here from my inbox, we can delete another one if we wanted to. And then I were to go into my Officer 365 Explorer, you'll see that I can pick a point in time that I wanna go back to. So with this, I can explore to the latest exchange date as of Wednesday, which was yesterday, 6-3, or Thursday, 6-4. I'm gonna go back to uh, Wednesday here, and it's gonna open up the Explorer, shouldn't take too long. It's going to populate some data on the left-hand side. Now I'm going to go in and I'm going to find my um, actual inbox, which is going to be down here in alphabetical order. And we're going to go to me and we're going to open it. We're going to go to my inbox and we're going to see that the email that I deleted is right here. And I'm gonna highlight that email and I can pick and choose where I wanna restore that to. So I can restore it back to my original email. I could restore it somewhere else. I can export it as a PST file. I could save it to my desktop or I could send it to an additional. I'm gonna actually do that. Now you'll also notice while it's doing that, there's other functions here. I have an advanced search functionality. I also have a um, compare with production right here. Um, and as you can see, the restore summary said that the Sean Simpson one item was successful. So we click OK here and then I can close this. And you can see the email is already back. We had deleted it. We went into Veeam for backup for Office 365 and we were able to recover it. So that probably took less than a minute. I'm not sure, Hannah, maybe a little longer because we're remote and there's probably some delays and different things. But as you can see, it's very simple, very easy. And um, I'm going to go on, on a limb a little bit and say pretty much anybody could do that. You don't really need to be anything more to be able to follow some prompts and uh, do some point and clicking and, and that sort of thing. So it's, uh, it's uh, very simple, very easy, and very comprehensive. So what I'm going to do is that concludes the demo portion of it. So I'm going to pass that buck back over. And we're going to go through a few more slides and then we're going to uh, entertain some questions that you might have. So I think I'm gonna turn it back over to Hannah at this point. If not, I can go through it, Hannah. Why not? Actually, I'll go through this part and then, uh, then I think we'll go to Hannah. So six reasons why you need backup for Office 365. Um, probably the most common one would be accidental deletion. Uh, I'm not sure about many of you folks, but sometimes I get trigger happy with my mouse, especially when my inbox is really full and it's a Friday afternoon. And I think I'm doing myself a service by cleaning up my email and I start deleting them. Uh, most times I'll catch that and I can go into the deleted file and um, I'll be able to recover it. But there are times I get back Monday morning and I realize that I deleted the wrong thing and I need to find that. Um, the other would be retention policies, confusion, gaps. How long do I need to keep emails? Maybe you're under the assumption that uh, Microsoft Office 365 is doing that backup for you, or you're taking the thought process, which is wrong, that legal hold is a backup. While legal hold might hold the data for you, it's not necessarily a backup solution. And it's not going to give you the granularity that you need to actually do a recovery. And that's not really what it's designed for. Uh, internal security threats, malicious insiders, uh, departing employees who want to be a little uh, threatful to you and delete emails. The big one of the, of the hour would be ransomware, uh, especially in this time that we're in right now. It's a vulnerable state for a lot of people. And unfortunately, people take advantage of those vulnerable states and probably attack email is the number one thing. Definitely legal and compliance requirements. We all work in different areas of business, but for the most part, we need to make sure that we keep emails for a certain amount of time. And then 
technically speaking, although the product was not designed for on-prem to Office 365 migrations, this tool could be used for migration purposes. It does have the functionality needed, not 100%, but we do have organizations that do use this to deploy hybrid solutions. So those are the big six why. And hopefully when you combine these six things, why you should be backing up your email, along with the ability to do the backup very simply with the Veeam product and then get that backup to the Comport Secure Cloud, you can definitely see the advantages of doing this if you're not already backing up your Office 365. Now, maybe, just maybe, if you want um, in the chat, if you could maybe just put a yes or a no if you guys are currently backing up your Office 365. I think that would be some interesting data. I think we probably have around 40 participants. It would be interesting just to see how many of you say, yes, you are backing up Office 365. So I'm not sure if uh, availability for the always on enterprise. And when you think about Veeam uh, from that standpoint, the Veeam products sort of in the middle. So now we're just kind of talking a little bit about the holistic 100, 25,000 foot view of Veeam, um, any data, any app, any cloud. So now we're kind of talking a little bit more outside of uh, Veeam Office 365 and more about what does Veeam provide as a whole. So if you're familiar with uh, Veeam, uh, we do have the ability to back up Office 365, production environments, laptops, desktops. And of course, we do have the ability to back up uh, AWS and Azure. Most recently, within the last couple of weeks, we can do native AWS and native Azure uh, from the marketplaces within each one of the public clouds. Um, the limitation with that is integration to an existing B, B, uh, Veeam backup and replication. So today it's sort of siloed a little bit, but it does give you the ability to do that. If you want to back up any legacy products in the actual public cloud, you can still use the Veeam agent uh, from that standpoint. And then Sean, can you hear me now? Yes, hi Hannah. We were oh, just oh about I lost this. all audio. Sorry about that, everyone. Oh, no worries, no worries. But we were on this slide, so I don't know if you want to add. I kind of covered everything around the um, from the Veeam perspective. Uh, we talked a little bit about all this, and of course, how everything can be backed up to the Comport Secure Cloud from that standpoint. Awesome. Great. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think that it all reinforces the message that data needs to be safeguarded even when it's outside the four walls of your business's building um, so that um, you know, the data is there and it's available. And I think that Sean, you did a great job at covering, although you couldn't hear me, I could hear you guys. Um, so you did a great job at covering all the reasons and the ways in which Comport, Secure, and Veeam work together for any app, any data, and any cloud. Exactly. And we had a real life example of how if I was hooked up to your cloud, my backup of my laptop would have taken place whether I had my USB drive or not. So it was a real life <laughs> example of how that could be yeah. important. So just to um, wrap up here, the the big takeaway here is that everybody should have that handout for at the bottom of your screen is to let you know that it's very easy to set up the free 30 days of the POC for whether you want to test the laptop backup or the Office 365 or both. Um, we're happy to hop on. The Comport Secure team and the Veeam team can hop on with you. It doesn't take long at all. And um, we'll go through, we'll set it up with you. We'll make sure that your first couple of backup jobs are running. We'll give you a chance to get under the hood and test it with your own organization with that data that you have and within your environment to see how it really works and how you could find it useful. Um, for your organization. So like I said, the document um, for the link to click there to sign up for it is as, um, it should pop up as a document for you within the GoToWebinar panel. So now we'll, real quick, I really want to take on some questions and we wanted to also point out that there's um, so there's over 12,450 customers using the technology today. So Veeam backup for Office 365, laptops and desktops. But it's quite a needed solution. And I think that the importance of it, um, it, it maybe it wasn't noticed in the very beginning, um, but I think that over the past 12 months that we've seen quite a dramatic change in that. So now I want to open it up to questions. Susan, um, did we have any questions that came across in the box? I know I've my end that I see. I don't know if you have any on your end. No, I don't see any questions. 
Okay, the only one that I see on my box is um, how much does backup service cost? Um, so Sean, I can answer this one for everyone on the line. It's, it's a very simple model. It's a per user and it's a per terabyte cost per month. So if you are using the licensing, it's a per user cost per month based on consumption. Um, so you can scale up or scale down based on the needs and the requirements, number of users or number of laptops for that given month, and then the storage for that data, whether it be in a three location Comport Secure Data Center per terabyte per month as well. So it's very easy to do one or both of those items. And then, like I said, consumption based. So hopefully that answers that question. Um, but if not, please feel free to continue to ask them the question and answers. Um, oh, second one here, Sean. If I am, let me make sure I'm reading this question right. If I am using Veeam today, do I have to download additional Veeam software to start backing up my Office 365 users? Yes, that's a great question. And the answer to that is yes. These are both um, the BNR and then the Veeam Backup for Office 365 are two separate uh, installations. Uh, today, they don't integrate. That doesn't mean that in the future there will be some integration, but today you'll need to download uh, a separate installation, uh, you know, separate uh, virtual machine, and then you'll be able to do that. Awesome. Thank you. Um, I'll just add in there that if you are an existing Comport Secure customer, um, then it's very easy to add that on as well. We can assist you with that so that it would just show up um, as an additional service under the services that you're utilizing today. Um, great, then I think that that does it for the questions, Sean, and anyone else that's on the line still, if you want to leave questions for us to answer later on, if you think of them, um, feel free. We'll leave the window open just for a little bit so that you guys can see the email address on the screen, um, and you can email any questions or additional information that you'd like from the team to info at comportsecure.com. Thank you, everyone, for hopping on today. I do want to point out that we do have a second webinar in our mini webinar series because this is the first of three. The second one will be June 25th at 4 p.m. and it is a happy hour themed webinar. It will be bulletproof backup as a service for AWS and Azure. And then for attending today, you will be receiving your Grubhub gift cards um, in the via email um, shortly within the next um, day. So keep an eye out for those. Thank you everyone for hopping on. Hope this was helpful and we'll talk to you all soon.